This is breaking news. David Archuleta lost American Idol, but tells how he won a new life. When you find yourself on the side of the majority, it's time to pause and reflect. Mark Twain. On the heels of the recent American Idol finale and May's Mental Health Awareness Month, and in light of June's Gay Pride Month, it's only fitting to highlight the story of one idol's journey from boyhood into manhood, from the closet into the light. Like many gay youth, former idol contestant David Archuleta had to squash his true self in order to gain acceptance from society, his Mormon faith, and just to survive psychologically. I sat down with Archuleta recently, and he spoke about what it's like to morph from a teenager who did as he was told into a man who embraces the truth about himself, how he broke the bonds of society's demands and religious expectations. The singer described how that freedom has had a big influence on his identity and mental wellness, and how he plans to live a new life according to his own values, not someone else's. As a 16-year-old American Idol contestant, Archuleta rose to the top placing second in the 2008 contest, losing to David Cook. But not without significant emotional trauma. Despite idol fame, he was never able to be fully himself like many youth forced to deny or hide their sexual orientation. Compared to heterosexual people, LGBTQIA plus individuals are 2.5 times more likely to experience depression, anxiety, and substance abuse as they face social pressures, stigma, and discrimination. Imagine the added pressures of being on the beta show on television, watched by 30 million viewers, and it's easy to see how that could break anyone. I asked Archuleta about his trauma from the American Idol experience. It's not just me, he discloses. Several other contestants told me they thought they were the only ones going through this. It has affected many of us even years after being on the show. The former Idol described panic attacks and trust issues as part of the PTSD. You're programmed not to trust people when you're on the show, at least in the time we were on it, he reveals. I've spoken with former contestants who go back to appear on Idol, and they say, I don't know if I can handle this. And I felt like that performing too, terrified and wondering why it was affecting me that way. It makes you ask, what was the mindset this show brings you to have as a performer? When you perform, you have a persona and become a character for everyone else. There are some parts that are you and other parts that are not. When you grow up in an environment where you're told not to even acknowledge your sexuality because it's not okay, you get an inkling that it's possible that can be inside of you and you disregard it, he told me. It's scary to even play with that idea. I didn't know that I was too afraid that it could be me until I couldn't hold it in anymore. He sensed there was something about him that others said wasn't okay but thought there was a misunderstanding around the issue. First I was told I was going to hell for being a Mormon and then I was told I was going to hell for coming out as well. Archuleta believes human beings naturally fear what's different from them. You're wrong if you're not like me, as he puts it. Mormon people would tell him he was a nice person but that he was going to hell anyway. The singer describes how he saw an anger in people because they didn't want him to accept his sexuality. I always wondered why it makes people angry. They'd say because it's unnatural. But how is that affecting you? I would ask, if this is wrong, then let me make a wrong choice. There's a cultural fear that if you let people be queer, it will contaminate the heteronormative society and diminish families. Gay people are told you can't have what we have, so if we say fine, then we'll create our own and have relationships in our own families, then society says, look how disgusting they are. They're not capable of being normal. The singer states that when you're not able to be yourself in the workplace, talking with someone can be healthy to get it out so you realize you're not crazy or wrong, and it's okay for you to be who you are. He suggests finding someone you can trust and open up about fear of rejection. I was a people pleaser and kept trying to be something I'm not to get approval from the community I'm part of. But inside it felt like a volcano about to erupt like when you shake a carbonated soda and don't know how to get rid of it. Finally, it pops out because you've pushed something down that didn't belong to be pushed down inside of you. I got to the point of feeling I can't do this anymore. It's not honest. It's not sincere.